Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to the next episode in our Fix That Super Rush Town Hall 13, where today we have an insane amount of loot. We have three builders available, we have the laboratory available, and we got a lot of stuff we got to get done. So let's just go and jump right into the episode and see what I would like to get done today. So if we go check out our progress base, we got a couple things that I would like to work on today. I'm thinking I want to go ahead and get this Dark Spell Factory going. Uh, mainly because I'm not really using a whole lot of dark spells right now. As you can see, I use... what it, The Earthquake spells even go dark? Yeah, so Earthquake spells, we do use those. We do use the Poison spell, kind of. Um, usually I get that like donated to me or something like that. So I can kind of deal without the Quad Quake because I could just bring two jump spells. That'll be the same thing. So I think I want to go ahead and get that done today. We do have to do the workshop eventually, uh, but... That is a 12-day upgrade, so I kind of want to wait until I have like a book of building. Uh, I was kind of looking at my medals. I don't have enough medals. I have 11 medals. I can't really buy a book, or I mean a hammer, uh, building. So we're going to have to kind of wait because, you know, 12 days without siege machines, kind of a long time. Kind of like the spell factory. You know, I can kind of deal with five days of not having spells. But 12 days without a wall wrecker, without a siege barracks, without a stone slammer, without a blimp. It's kind of hard now that, you know, we've gotten used to attacking like that. So, kind of like the Grand Warden, you know? If uh, you kind of get used to attacking with the Grand Warden or with the Royal Champion and then you start upgrading it and then you don't have it, it's like, what do I do? How do I, I don't, I don't know how to attack. It's kind of hard. So, we're going to wait for a book on that. Uh, we are going to do the Dark Spell Factory today. That's going to take up a little bit of our elixir. We do have something to do in the laboratory now. We've been doing miners. I have level 5 miners now, which is awesome. Very good in raids. Uh, we do have miners, I think, for the next raid. Uh, so we are going to be able to look at those and see how good they are. I've been thinking I want to kind of just stick with the miners. Kind of want to stick with the miners. I know it's kind of, you know, doing the same thing over and over. Collapse, do something else. But, you know, we're almost done. Level 6 and then level 7. We only have two levels left to go. Giants go to level 10, so we got six levels on that. Wallbreakers go to level 8, I believe, so they got a few levels on that. Balloons go, you know, quite a few levels. Then, you know, we have to work on these other things. E-drags, very good, you know, for farming and funneling and stuff like that. Yetis go to level 3, so those could be finished as well. Baby drags go to, like, level 5 or something like that. Pekkas go to level, like, 9 or 10. It's kind of insane, so we got a lot of levels to go. We have a lot of upgrades to do. We have dark spells, or you know, dark spells, dark troops. We have the siege machines to do. So I kind of want to get the miners done. A couple reasons. One, very good amounts of dark elixir that I can get using miners. Very good amounts of gold uh, to get, you know, for using miners. As you can see, we're pretty much almost done with the elixir upgrades. These are pretty cheap. 3.2 million, 3.2, 4.8. So they're not super expensive upgrades as far as the elixir goes. And miners are pretty expensive on, you know, elixir. If you look at, you know, training, 300,000 elixir. So if you're wanting elixir, don't use miners. If you're really, really wanting elixir, you probably want to spend, you know, the 25,000 dark elixir, get the sneaky goblins, and you can get an insane amount of loot using the sneaky goblins, as I've shown a few episodes before. You know, you can get 25,000 dark elixir in a couple raids. You can easily make them back up. And you have these guys for three days. So if you're really needing Dark Elixir, I mean, if you're really needing all loot, right? Gold, Elixir, Dark Elixir, probably want to go Sneaky Goblins. If you're not really needing Elixir right now, you know, say your laboratory has, you know, 5, 10, 12 days on it, then you might not need to use, um, you know, the Sneaky Goblins. You might just use Miners and just go out and just obliterate bases. So let's actually go ahead upgrade these miners that's going to be 11 days right so 11 days right elixir based basically i can just you know use elixir on other things for 11 days you know it doesn't take that long to get the elixir especially on my live streams guys you know if you come hang out my live streams uh i stream every day 1 p.m central time facebook and twitch links in the description for both of those but you know we do a lot of raids on this account a lot of raids that i can prepare for you know the next episode so we're going to go ahead, upgrade these guys, 8.8 .8 million elixir, and kaboom. I do have a book of fighting, but I think I want to maybe use that for the next time we have to upgrade the miners, because you see those are going to level 6. We upgrade them one more time. I'm pretty sure level 7 is the max, so we can actually finish them instantly, 
and then get something else done. That would be awesome. Now, I have an insane amount of stuff in my gold pass. We have a rune of builder gold. I'll probably just sell that. I have some more gold, some more elixir. We do have some wall rings, so I'm actually going to go ahead and use some of these wall rings. I had one of the new Christmas trees spawn right in the middle of my walls. Ugh, I didn't want to remove it, though. I didn't want to remove it, so I kind of just left it there. And I moved my walls out of the way. So that's kind of in the way a little bit. And let me go ahead and collect these wall rings. I upgraded six walls. I'll be able to collect that. We have some extra dark elixir, extra training potion, some more dark elixir, power potion, hero potion. So we're actually going to just, you know what? We're going to go ahead and use the power potion. We have a billion of them. Might as well go ahead and use one, right? I'm going to go ahead and collect one of these. I have an insane amount. What I, what I usually do is I... I and a power potion, a hero potion, and a training potion all at the same time. Because with the power potion, I get max troops. With the hero potion, you know, I get the extra ability level on the heroes. And then with the training potion, it makes my troops train a whole lot faster. So we have an insane amount of gold right now. And I don't want to, you know, really upgrade a defense right now. Because I have a couple things that I want to get done as far as the elixir. So we're going to just spend a lot of loot on walls. We're going to spend a lot of loot on walls. Eventually, you know, we're not going to, you know, be spending all of this loot on walls, guys. I promise. We're getting almost to the point where we're done. We're done with the elixir. And then we're, all we're going to have to do is just gold. Gold, gold, gold. We're going to need gold for days and days and days. Tons of gold. By the way, guys, I have been upgrading traps off camera. You know, in between episodes. When I have a free builder. Um, I don't really want to do an episode with one builder. You know, sometimes I will just because I'll have like three or four days before the next builder. So, what I've been doing, I've been upgrading traps. As you can see, all these bombs are level 3 and 4. Those are level 2, level 2, level 1, and then level 2. These are like a day upgrade, so I don't really want to do those. Then I've been doing the giant bombs as well. So, I've been doing traps off camera. Hope you guys are okay with that. Uh, because those are kind of, you know, boring upgrades. Don't really want to bore you guys with, Oh, guys, we're doing a giant bomb today. <laughs> you know, and nobody, nobody wants to watch an episode on that, right? Or I wouldn't want to. I don't know. But anyways... Let's go ahead and get this Dark Spell Factory going as well. Four days, 2.6 million, and kaboom. Very good. Now, we do still have two builders available. And you're probably thinking, what are we going to do with those two builders? Now, I was thinking, maybe we could do the Royal Champion. She's level 15. She's only got 10 more levels to go. Let's go ahead and do the Royal Champion. But then I was thinking, you know, I've talked about it many times. We need to get the Grand Warden up. We need to get that Grand Warden up. He's only level 7. He's very, very lacking. And, you know, I kind of want to get him upgraded. Start Because I kind of need to take my own advice. I kind of need to take my own advice that I give you guys in my live streams that heroes are very important. And as you can see, we've always dedicated at least one builder to the heroes. And I'm thinking we kind of need to dedicate maybe two builders to heroes. And let me tell you why. If you think about it, if you upgrade two heroes at the same time, that's two levels in the same amount of time that you would do one level on one hero. So if we do two heroes, that's, you know, two levels of heroes that we'll be able to do in the same time that we're doing one level of um, one hero. So I think I want to start focusing on uh, having two builders on the heroes. That way we can pump out some really, really you know, low levels of heroes. Get them at least to like maybe channel 10 level, channel 11 level, like level 40 and level 50. Then, you know, we'll put maybe one builder on the heroes and start getting back to that. But basically, we don't even have Town Hall 9 max heroes right now, as far as Barbarian King and Archer Queen go. So we need to get these guys upgraded. So we're going to do that, you know, at the end, uh, once I do a couple of raids. So let's go out, get a couple of raids in. Right now, I have my Go We Wipe, and hopefully we can find some gold, because I would like to get, you know, some more gold going. We can upgrade a couple more walls. I do have that extra loot in the gold pass. I have... Actually, I have a really, really insane amount of loot in the treasury, so we are going to have to use that as well today. So we're probably going to upgrade some more walls, get those things going. We almost have all max Town Hall 10 level walls, which is kind of crazy. Kind of like this guy. He's got some Town Hall 10 level walls. He's got some level 1 walls as well. We're not as bad as that guy. So hopefully we can find some really, really good loot. And, you know, we gotta, we're going to go... I'm going to tell you guys already. We're going to get the Grand Warden going today. We're going to get the, uh, which one's behind? We're going to get the Barbarian King done today as well. We're going to get him upgraded. We're going to get the Grand Warden upgraded. And those are going to be our last two builders of the day. Which, you know, the Grand Warden takes Elixir. So, I'm not going to spend Elixir on walls. And here's a dead base. It's a good Town Hall 12. It's a really, really good Town Hall 12. Almost 
max defenses except for his walls. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. We've got a lot of walls left to go, but I think we'll be okay. So let's go ahead and jump through here. Send in the golem. We eventually are going to have to start upgrading dark elixir troops as well. But that is not a huge priority at this point. As you noticed, we've been you know, trying to focus on getting the heroes upgraded. That's what I kind of tell you guys like during my live streams. You know, we kind of want to, you know, get the, the heroes upgraded. That way, when it comes time, we will have plenty of dark elixir and, you know, stuff like that. To where we can upgrade, you know, dark troops and just put all dark elixir into those. So... Let's go ahead and pop the Warden's ability. Get that Town Hall down. Very good. And I'm going to actually go ahead and freeze all of the splash damage here. Let's go ahead and pop the Barbarian King's ability to get through these buildings. And there's a lot of gold on this backside. So I'm going to try and drop some archers on the backside here. That Royal Champion at, you know, she's very, very powerful. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and pop her ability right here. Doink, 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 doink. Take out a bunch of these defenses. And this is probably going to be a three-star. Probably going to be a three-star. Um, I love attacking dead bases. If you guys hang out my live streams, you guys know I love attacking dead bases. You know, it's not it's not super impressive, you know. You should be able to three-star dead bases. But, as you can see, you get an insane amount of loot. You get an insane amount of loot. If you're in if you're Tunnel 13, go to Master League. Go to Champion League. Go to Crystal League. I would probably say Master League because that's where I am. But, look at that. You get an insane amount of loot. As far as Master Elite loot bonus goes, you get 135,000 at Master 2. That puts me at five, 600,000 gold in Elixir. Insane amount of loot. Easy loot. Tons of dead bases. Definitely want to try and do that. So we have our miners. We're going to go ahead and actually do another raid. And the Grand Warden is up. So I'm not going to be able to get the Grand Warden done. I can actually go ahead and do the Barbarian King, though. He's only a three-day, four-hour upgrade to level 24. He's, um, he's getting on up there in age. He hasn't, you know, kind of gotten up there to the queen yet. Queen's 25, so he's, uh, he's trying to play catch-up. Want to play good with the uh, the age game there. So we're going to go ahead and do this since he's, you know, already down. Let's go ahead and do that. And cup. Boom. Very good. Now I have an insane amount of dark elixir still. And, you know, in three days, I'll be able to upgrade another hero. Right now we have a three-day, a four-day, and a four-and-a-half-day and a seven day upgrade. Now the warden is actually only a two day 19. So that gives us a little bit of time in there. So we'll probably by the next episode, we'll have we'll have two builders again. We'll be able to put down another hero, get some other elixir base upgrades going. Let's go out, do another raid, and we're gonna have to actually collect the treasury because I think, let me, let me go ahead and check first. Let me go ahead and check. Yeah, I don't have a loot bonus right now. We have, <laughs> An insane amount of loot in here. 2.9 million of each. So we're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to use that. We're going to have to use that. We're probably going to upgrade some more walls. We're going to upgrade a few more, you know, uh, walls with the elixir as well. Then we're going to go ahead and upgrade the Grand Warden, which is going to be absolutely epic. I love the Grand Warden. He's, to me, the most important hero because he keeps your troops alive. He's the one that keeps your troops alive. And if you have a Grand Warden, definitely want to upgrade him as fast as possible. You know, of course, along with your other heroes, you know, troops and stuff like that. But Grand Warden keeps those guys alive. You kind of want to have him maxed out as fast as possible. You know, I've kind of, we've kind of been, you know, not really focused on him because we've been getting the other dark or the regular elixir upgrades done. Like the army camps, those are done. Thank God. Army camps are done. <laughs> we have the spell factory was done until the last update. You know, we had the workshop done until the last update. So the big elixir upgrades were done. You know, we had the update come. Now we have some elixir-based things to do again, but kind of going to wait on those. We have the barracks almost done, so we're almost done with the elixir stuff. So we can just pump all elixir into the Grand Warden. That's all we're going to do. All elixir, not even going to put it into walls. Not even going to put it into walls. We're just going to put it into the Grand Warden and the laboratory. That's pretty much what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit this base. This base actually has some pretty decent loot, and it's a dead base, of course. But we love dead bases. We're going to go ahead and drop... Our miners, we have level 5 miners now, which is actually really, really nice. And I've been bringing even, you don't really need CC troops, right? But I've been bringing a siege barracks. I've been bringing a siege barracks because it gives you an extra P.E.K.K.A. It gives you an extra, you know, set of troops that, you know, you don't really get if you just bring a wall wrecker, you know? So, 
There we go. We took out that. I'm going to go ahead and drop a heal spell right there over those guys because the wizard tower and the bomb tower, they actually went after the queen and the barbarian king. So that's okay. They're going to go after the town hall. Let's go and pop the warden's ability and heal over the town hall. That's going to be a huge bummer right there. We're going to get the royal champion in there. Boom. The miners are going to go under the giga bomb, which is great. That's also another reason to use the miners is to get them, you know, through that Gigabomb. The Gigabomb, you know, damages your troops tremendously. They almost kill them. So, kind of want to get that going. Look at these. Miners are obliterating the space. We're going to go ahead and pop the Royal Champion's ability. And she just took out all the defenses on the left side. She is absolutely insane. We got a three-star with Miners. Two three-stars in one episode. That doesn't really happen. I don't think we've ever done that before. Two three-stars in one episode? We might have done it. I don't know, but... <laughs> That's pretty awesome. There we go. 22 trophies, an insane amount of loot. And let's go ahead and upgrade a few more walls. I'm going to go ahead and collect the treasury. The warden is actually very cheap. He's only 4.4 million. So we have an insane amount of loot that we can spend. Uh, let's see. How much is this? 12 million? Yeah, we can't spend 12 million. But we're going to be able to get quite a few walls with gold. These are 8 million apiece. 8 times 4 is 32. So we can do about 3 walls with gold now. But upgrade these. No, nope, not that line of walls. I guess I was trying to be cheeky and be able to do this pretty easily. That didn't work out. <laughs> so 4.4 million we need for elixir. So let's just go ahead and use as much of this elixir as we can. You kind of, if you're not going to be online for quite a while, you kind of want to, you know, use as much of your loot as you can, right? Now I have an insane amount of dark elixir. Not going to be able to, you know, Use my Dark Elixir, so that's totally fine. I do have some loot in here, and I don't really want to waste that on walls. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that in there. I got 18 and a half days to keep that in there. And let's go ahead, get the Grand Warden upgraded. Two days, 19 hours, 4.4 million Elixir, and kaboom. Wow. We've used all of our loot. We've used all of our loot. We've used all of our builders, which is exactly what I want to do. So our base is actually looking really, really good. I know the defenses aren't looking good, but the walls, guys, the walls are looking good. We have almost Town Hall 10, all max level walls, and it's looking really, really good. We got an army camp still going. Actually, we have two army camps going. Uh, those still got, you know, four days and seven and a half days, so those get a little bit of time to go. Right now, I'm able to bring 290 troops, which is awesome. 290 troops. Great, 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 great. I can't even make an army composition right now. I'm going to have to kind of wait on that. Actually, I could just collect the elixir in here, right? I could collect the elixir because I am going to be able to do that. Uh, I do live stream in a couple hours. So maybe I'll just collect that for later on. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. A long episode. I know it's kind of been a long episode, but we had a lot of things to do. We had a lot of things to do. We got the laboratory going. We got the miners going to level 6. We have the Grand Warden upgrading. We have the Barbarian King upgrading. We have both army camps going, or the last two to go, and the Dark Spell Factory, which has one more level to go after this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. It's kind of been a long episode, a lot of things to do, especially when you have tons of loot. Like I said, use Sneaky Goblins or use Miners, guys, if you really, really need loot. Very, very easy to do. As you can see, I just steamrolled through that base with Miners. Very, very easy. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys for tuning into this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Make sure you leave a like on the video if you guys did. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We just surpassed 600 subscribers you know, within the past couple days, so I greatly appreciate that, guys. Uh, we also just hit 27,000 followers on Facebook. So thank you guys so much for tuning into those. Uh, also, my Twitch, we just hit, what, 550 uh, followers on there as well. So you guys are killing it on the live streams. I greatly appreciate that. Um, hope to see more of you guys there. Um, make sure you get that bell turned on for notifications, guys, on the YouTube my Twitch, my Facebook. Make sure you get the notifications turned on because I've been noticing um, from like other streamers and stuff like that that I talk to that people aren't getting notifications, you know? So I don't want to make sure you have those turned on just in case and know that, you know, these videos are coming out as fast as I possibly can. And my live streams are every day, 1 p.m. Central Time. That does not change. You know? I'm not going to go at some random time. I will let you guys know on Facebook or maybe Twitter or something like that to know if I have a little bit of a d delay. But always, every day, guys, 1 p.m. Central Time. Even if you don't get a notification, let's go check. I will be live, I promise you, unless something happens. You know, I will let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love each and every one of you guys. Be safe out there, and I will see you all next time.